When considering whether or not you should replace the rear air springs in your own Mercedes-Benz, there are three things you should consider or do. Number one, obviously do a visual inspection. Get the rear wheel off and take a good close look at the air spring. Look down low, see if there's any wetness. If you see any wetness around this lower area, it probably means you have a hydraulic leak. So uh, that's a, a true sign for rejection. The other thing is you want to check this dust cover over the bladder and you want to look real close for cracks because if it's been uh, cracked and, and allowing a lot of dirt and dust to get into the air spring then you might want to consider. Well this one looks okay, see that? Super dry, no deterioration of this dust cover. So that, uh, that score is a plus. The, the other thing you want to consider is the mileage on the car. This car has 114,000 miles and uh, that's another plus. I think uh, over 150,000 miles, you should start considering replacing these. They definitely last longer than the front ones, but they don't last forever. And then finally, number three, think about your driving habits and how far you're driving. I only drive locally. Uh, at the most, I may drive 200 miles. So this isn't a big concern, but if you're going cross country and you want the car to be reliable and don't want to get stuck anywhere, if there's any question at all, just replace the rear air springs when you redo the fronts.